Good morning boys and girls, I hope you're all well today. We're going to start our morning off just like we always do with our good morning song. So can you show me what your waving hands? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning dear friends and how do you do? Well done everyone, now can we put our hands together for our class prayer? Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Fantastic, boys and girls. Right, yesterday, it was Thursday. Thursday. Let me get my star. Today, it is Friday, Friday, put my star in there. So we'll do my turn, then your turn. My turn, today is Friday. Your turn. Well done boys and girls, today it is Friday. And today we are going to be reading a new book. So all this week we have been, well on Monday we read Goldilocks and the Three Bears, one of my favourite stories and we have been doing lots of lovely activities all about Goldilocks and the Three Bears and me and Mrs Clare, Mrs Hadfield and Mrs Thompson have loved seeing all your pictures and videos and messages that your grown ups have sent to us. It has been lovely to see you working so hard. I know that it's very different and you're having to do your learning from watching these videos and doing them at home but I know that your parents are so proud of you and so are we. You are doing an amazing job and you're doing the right thing. We're keeping safe so well done. Okay so this uh, today we are going to read the magic porridge pot and this story has porridge in it just like Goldilocks and the three bears but this story is very different so all you need are your listening ears and your looking eyes to listen to our story. I hope you like it as much as I do. Hannah had little money and even less food. But whatever she had, she always shared. One day, Hannah was out for a walk when she saw some bees. Aha, she thought, bees mean honey. As H Hannah ate the honey, an old woman hobbled up swinging an empty pot. Would you like some honey? asked Hannah. Oh yes, please, said the woman. It will go perfectly with my porridge. Porridge? What porridge? said Hannah. The woman smiled. Watch, she said. Cook, pot, cook. With a sizzle of magic, steaming porridge filled the pot. Stop, pot, stop. Then just as quickly, it stopped. They each ate a bowl of delicious porridge drizzled with sweet, sticky honey. Would you like the pot? said the woman. Remember the magic words and you'll never go hungry again. From then on, Hannah had plenty to eat. She had porridge for breakfast, porridge for lunch and porridge for supper. One evening, a greedy boy smelled the porridge. Mm, what's that? He followed his nose to Hannah's cottage, but Hannah drew the it. Uh, he saw the pot start to fill with porridge. Cook, pot, cook. So she's saying the magic words to make the porridge cook in her pot. But Hannah drew the curtains so he didn't see it stop. So he heard the magic words to start the porridge but did he hear the magic words for the porridge to stop cooking? No.
The boy waited for Hannah to go to bed. Then he tiptoed in, grabbed the pot and ran all the way home. Is this little boy kind like Hannah? No, he's not, is he? He's definitely not done the right thing. He couldn't wait to shout the magic words, Cook, pot, cook! With a sizzle of magic, the pot filled with porridge. It got fuller and fuller. Oh no, what's going to happen, boys and girls? That's enough, said the boy. You can stop now. But the pot didn't stop. Puddles of porridge poured onto the floor. I don't think that little boy's mummy and daddy will be very pleased, will they? The porridge is going everywhere. And what does the little boy need to say for the porridge to stop? That's right, he needs to say, stop, pot, stop. But he doesn't know those magic words, does he? Oh dear, I wonder what's going to happen next. That's too much, cried the boy. Stop, I tell you. But the pot didn't stop. It filled the room with a gloopy sea of porridge. Oh no. Soon porridge was pouring out of the doors and windows. Please stop, begged the boy. But the pot didn't stop. Why isn't it stopping? Yeah, because he's not said the magic words, has he? The boy splashed out into the night. Stop, 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 he yelled. I'll drown in porridge. But still the pot didn't stop. In her bedroom, Hannah sniffed. That smells like porridge, she thought. She raced outside. Porridge was flooding down the street. Oh no, it must be the pot. Hannah shouted the magic words. Stop, pot, stop. And at last the pot stopped. The greedy boy was saved. He couldn't return Hannah's pot fast enough. And he never stole anything again. So I think the little boy, the greedy boy, definitely learned his lesson. He shouldn't steal anything right boys and girls so this morning i would like you to make your own pretend magical porridge so i have got my pot here and i've got a spoon and i'm going to make some porridge but i need the magic words so what are the magic words that's right cook pot cook and my porridge is being made in my pot. To make it stop, I need to say, stop, pot, stop, or else my kitchen will be full of porridge, won't it? So, your magic porridge is going to be a little bit different to the porridge in the book, okay? Our porridge, boys and girls, is going to make us have superpowers. So what superpower would your porridge give you i'm going to have a think and i think i would like to be able to fly i would love to have the superpower to be able to fly so when i say cook pot cook i'm going to add some extra honey to make it very sweet i'm going to give it a big mix and say stop pot stop and hopefully it will give me the superpower to fly yours might give you a different superpower it might give you the power to run really 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 fast okay it might give you the power to be really good at playing your favorite game and that you'll never lose okay it could be anything you might have different ideas okay so what I'd like you to do if you can is get a bowl and a spoon say the magic words cook pot cook for your porridge to be made and tell the porridge what you'd like your superpower to be and give it a stir but don't forget to say the magic words to tell it to stop which is stop pot stop 
Okay, you don't want your house filled with porridge. We don't want the porridge filling our streets, do we? Okay, so that's what I'd like you to do this morning. And your mummies and daddies all grown ups, so or bigger brothers and sisters, can take a picture or a video of you doing it, and you can upload it to Dojo, and we can see what your superpowers are. If you wanted to, you could draw a picture of what your superpower will be. It's up to you. Okay, I look forward to seeing them, and I will see you at 11 o'clock. Bye, boys and girls.